15 Ways to Improve Circulation in Legs and Feet Our blood acts like a life-giving river, constantly moving to nourish every part of our body. But what if this river gets blocked or slows down? Our legs and feet, which carry us through life, can suffer when they're not getting enough blood flow. The consequences can be serious, but don't worry. With some knowledge and a bit of self-care, you can keep your blood flowing smoothly. Today, we're exploring 15 simple ways to boost circulation in your legs and feet. Get ready to take the first step toward a healthier, more energized you. 1. Regular Physical Activity Let's start our journey to better circulation with the first essential step, regular physical activity. Just like a river finding its way through hills and valleys, exercise is the most natural and fundamental way to keep your circulatory system running efficiently, especially in your legs and feet. When we exercise, our heart rate increases, pumping blood faster and improving circulation. More blood reaches our extremities, delivering much-needed oxygen and nutrients. But the benefits of regular exercise go beyond better circulation, it's like a magical elixir with many health benefits. It can lower the risk of heart disease, help manage weight, control blood sugar levels, enhance lung capacity, and improve mental health. Exercise strengthens muscles and bones, reducing the risk of osteoporosis. It also boosts mood and reduces anxiety and depression, thanks to the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good hormones. So, how can we incorporate regular physical activity into our daily routine? The beauty of physical activity lies in its versatility. You don't need to hit the gym every day or run a marathon. Start with small but effective changes in your everyday life. Take short brisk walks for 30 minutes, 5 times a week. If you have a desk job, stand up and move around every hour. Choose stairs over elevators, and park a bit farther from your destination to get in a few extra minutes of walking. Remember, any form of physical activity is better than none. Consistency is key, so find an activity you enjoy to make it easier to stick with it. 2. Eating a balanced, nutrient-rich diet Next, let's talk about the fuel that drives our bodies, our diet. Eating a balanced, nutrient-rich diet plays a critical role in supporting optimal blood circulation. What we consume directly impacts our circulatory system. Foods rich in essential nutrients enter our bloodstream, reaching all parts of our bodies, including our legs and feet. These nutrients contribute to the health of our blood vessels, facilitating improved circulation. A diet high in saturated fats and cholesterol can lead to the buildup of fatty deposits in your arteries, a condition known as atherosclerosis. This impedes blood flow and can lead to serious health problems like heart disease and stroke. On the other hand, a balanced, nutrient-rich diet can help maintain clear arteries and promote healthy blood flow. Certain foods are known for their circulation-boosting properties. These include fatty fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon and mackerel, which help expand blood vessels and increase blood flow. Citrus fruits rich in antioxidants and vitamin C can strengthen capillary walls and prevent plaque buildup. Spices like cayenne pepper can boost circulation, and foods high in fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can help control weight and lower the risk of atherosclerosis. So, how can you easily incorporate a nutrient-rich diet into your daily routine? Start by planning your meals around various food groups, fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. Include a rainbow of fruits and vegetables in your diet, as different colors offer different nutrients. Remember, it's not just about what you eat but also how you eat. Try to have smaller, more frequent meals instead of three large ones. Replace red meats with lean proteins like chicken, turkey, or fish. For snacks, opt for nuts and seeds instead of high sugar, high fat options. 3. Hydration Our third stop on the journey to improving circulation in the legs and feet is hydration, an essential element often taken for granted. Drinking enough water is fundamental to maintaining healthy circulation. Water is the primary component of blood plasma, 
which carries blood cells, nutrients, and hormones throughout our body. Staying hydrated helps maintain blood volume, preventing it from becoming too thick and sluggish. When properly hydrated, our heart can pump blood more efficiently, delivering oxygen and nutrients to our legs, feet, and the rest of our body. Being well hydrated also helps our body regulate its temperature. This is important because heat can dilate blood vessels, promoting better circulation. Dehydration, on the other hand, can lead to the narrowing of blood vessels and decreased blood volume, hampering the free flow of blood. Beyond circulation, staying hydrated brings many other health benefits. It aids in digestion, lubricates joints, maintains skin health, aids in nutrient absorption, and supports brain function. It helps eliminate waste from our body, keeps our muscles energized, and even plays a role in weight management. The standard recommendation is to drink at least 8 8 ounce glasses of water a day, which is about 2 liters or half a gallon. One of the simplest ways to stay hydrated is by always having a bottle of water within reach. Whether you're at your desk, running errands, or lounging at home, keeping water nearby makes it easier to take sips throughout the day. You can also boost your hydration by consuming water-rich foods. Fruits like watermelon, cucumbers, oranges, and strawberries have high water content and can contribute to your daily water intake. Soups and broths are another great way to incorporate more water into your meals. 4. Using compression stockings. Next, we come across a practical and accessible intervention, the use of compression stockings. These specialized socks are designed to apply pressure to your lower legs, helping to maintain blood flow and reduce discomfort and swelling. Compression stockings provide a simple yet effective means to combat circulatory issues, particularly in the legs and feet. They work by exerting gentle pressure against your leg, with the highest pressure at the ankle that gradually decreases as it moves up the leg. This gradient helps push blood up your legs, working against gravity. It also supports the veins and muscles in your legs, enabling them to move blood more efficiently towards your heart. Wearing compression stockings can help improve circulation in your legs and feet by facilitating the upward return of blood towards the heart. They can be especially beneficial for those who stand or sit for prolonged periods, as these positions can exacerbate circulatory problems. Compression stockings are not only therapeutic but also preventative. They can help reduce the risk of deep vein thrombosis, DVT, a serious condition where blood clots form in the veins of your legs. They are also beneficial in managing varicose veins, a condition that arises due to poor venous blood flow. When selecting and using compression stockings, consider several factors. Compression stockings come in different sizes, lengths, and pressure grades, so it's crucial to choose ones that fit you properly. Ideally, consult a healthcare provider to determine the right type and fit for you. Once you have your compression stockings, make sure you wear them correctly. They should be worn throughout the day and taken off before going to bed. They should feel snug but not painfully tight. 5. Elevation, raise your legs and feet. Our journey now brings us to the principle of elevation. Simply raising your legs and feet can significantly improve blood circulation in these areas. But why does it work, and how can you incorporate it into your daily routine? Let's dive deeper. Blood circulation is a closed-loop system with the heart at its center. Your heart pumps oxygenated blood through arteries to all parts of your body, and then deoxygenated blood returns to the heart through veins for reoxygenation. The movement of blood from your legs and feet back to your heart is an uphill task, both literally and metaphorically, as it has to work against the force of gravity. Elevation helps make this task easier. By raising your legs and feet above the level of your heart, you're giving the blood a gravity assist on its journey back to the heart. This can improve blood flow, reduce pressure on your veins, and help prevent blood from pooling in your lower limbs. Elevating your legs also helps reduce swelling and inflammation often associated with poor circulation, as it alleviates the buildup of fluids in your tissues, edema. Incorporating leg elevation into your daily routine can be simple and versatile. Here are some suggestions. 1. Relax with raised legs, 
while lying down on your bed or couch, use pillows to elevate your legs. Try to keep them raised for 15 to 30 minutes several times throughout the day. 2. Work setup. If possible, reconfigure your workspace to allow for leg elevation. An adjustable desk can allow you to work while standing, and an elevated footrest can help when seated. 3. Elevate while sleeping. Consider elevating the foot of your bed to help maintain a slight elevation as you sleep. 6. Limiting alcohol and tobacco consumption. Both alcohol and tobacco can significantly impact your circulatory system, particularly in the legs and feet. Let's start with alcohol. While moderate consumption can have certain cardiovascular benefits, excessive alcohol intake can lead to high blood pressure, which can strain the circulatory system. It can also lead to cardiomyopathy, a condition where the heart muscle weakens and fails to pump blood efficiently, resulting in poor circulation, especially in the extremities like legs and feet. Smoking or using tobacco has unequivocally damaging effects on circulation. Tobacco contains nicotine, which causes blood vessels to constrict or narrow, impairing blood flow. It also decreases your blood's ability to carry oxygen and promotes the formation of plaques in the arteries, atherosclerosis. All these factors together result in poor circulation, particularly in the legs and feet. Limiting or avoiding alcohol and tobacco can therefore be a significant step towards improving blood circulation. It can lower your risk of heart diseases, certain types of cancer, liver disease, and respiratory conditions. It can improve lung capacity, increase life expectancy, and enhance mental well-being. Here are some strategies to limit or avoid these habits. 1. Acknowledge the harmful effects. Recognize and acknowledge the harmful effects of excessive alcohol and tobacco. 2. Educate yourself. Learn about the benefits of quitting and make a firm decision to change. 3. Replace with healthier habits. Instead of reaching for a drink or cigarette, go for a walk, drink a glass of water, or practice deep breathing. Over time, these healthier habits can replace the harmful ones. In essence, limiting or avoiding alcohol and tobacco is a significant step towards not only improving circulation in your legs and feet but also enhancing overall health and longevity. It might seem challenging at first, but remember that every small step you take is a step towards a healthier you. 7. Getting regular massage therapy. Let's consider a remedy that's as indulgent as it is effective, massage therapy. This age-old practice harnesses the power of touch to stimulate circulation, enhance relaxation, and promote overall wellness. Massage therapy can significantly improve blood circulation. The mechanical pressure created by a massage compresses and releases muscle tissue, creating a pumping action that encourages blood flow. This enhanced circulation delivers fresh oxygen and nutrients to the massaged area, promoting tissue healing and regeneration. Simultaneously, massage aids in flushing out lactic acid built up in the muscles, allowing lymph fluid to circulate more efficiently. This removes metabolic waste, further aiding in tissue recovery and supporting the immune system. Regular massages can lead to better sleep, reduce stress and anxiety, alleviation of muscle tension, and enhanced flexibility. It can also help manage chronic conditions like fibromyalgia, arthritis, and sciatica. In conclusion, massage therapy, with its myriad of health benefits, can be a powerful tool in improving circulation in your legs and feet. So make some time to indulge in this soothing and healing practice, your body will thank you. 8. Practicing Yoga and Stretching Regularly The next stop on our journey to improving circulation in our legs and feet takes us to the realm of yoga and stretching. These practices, rooted in ancient wisdom yet strikingly relevant to modern lifestyles, have a profound impact on our circulatory system and overall well-being. Yoga and stretching can significantly enhance circulation, particularly in the legs and feet. The diverse array of yoga poses, from standing and seated to inverted and twisted, prompts blood flow in different directions within the body. The physical nature of these poses helps stimulate the heart and arteries, thus enhancing the circulation of blood. In particular, inverted poses such as legs up the wall or downward facing dog can be especially beneficial for circulation in the legs and feet. 
These poses elevate the legs, thereby assisting the return of blood from the lower body to the heart. Stretching, whether as part of yoga or a separate routine, also plays a crucial role in circulation. By improving flexibility and range of motion, stretching helps keep the blood vessels flexible and promotes better circulation. These practices help increase strength and flexibility, improve balance and posture, and enhance respiratory function. Regular yoga and stretching can also alleviate stress, anxiety, and depression thanks to their meditative aspect. 9. Temperature Therapy Next up on our list of ways to improve circulation in our legs and feet is temperature therapy. This might sound like a high-tech term, but the principle behind it is simple yet incredibly effective. By strategically applying heat and cold to our bodies, we can stimulate blood flow, alleviate discomfort, and promote overall health. Let's start with heat therapy. Applying heat to a specific area of your body dilates or opens up the blood vessels. This dilation improves blood flow, bringing more oxygen and nutrients to the area, aiding in healing and pain relief. Heat therapy is particularly beneficial for stiff muscles and joints and can also help soothe chronic pain or discomfort in the legs and feet. On the other hand, cold therapy constricts or narrows the blood vessels, reducing blood flow to the area. This helps reduce inflammation, swelling, and pain, particularly after an injury. Once the cold is removed, the blood vessels dilate as they warm up, and a rush of blood flows back into the area, bringing nutrients and oxygen that support healing. Taking a warm bath or shower can be a simple and relaxing way to apply heat therapy. For an added benefit, try adding Epsom salts to your bath, which can help reduce muscle soreness and stress. For cold therapy, keep a few reusable ice packs on hand. They can be applied to areas of inflammation or injury to reduce swelling and pain. Contrast therapy involves alternating between heat and cold, which can enhance the benefits of both. After applying heat for about 15 to 20 minutes, switch to cold for the same amount of time. Repeat this cycle a few times for the best results. Remember, when applying any form of temperature therapy, Always use a barrier like a towel between the heat or cold source and your skin to avoid burns or frostbite. Also, it's best to limit each session to 20 minutes at a time to prevent skin damage. 10. Reducing Salt Intake Moving further along in our exploration of ways to boost circulation, let's discuss a dietary factor that plays a crucial role in our circulatory health, salt intake. While salt, specifically the sodium it contains, is essential for normal bodily functions, too much of it can lead to health problems, including circulatory issues. Excessive sodium consumption can cause the body to retain fluid. This fluid retention increases the volume of blood in your bloodstream, which can lead to high blood pressure or hypertension. High blood pressure strains your heart and blood vessels, impairs their ability to circulate blood effectively, and can ultimately lead to circulatory problems in the legs and feet. By reducing your salt intake, you can help prevent fluid retention and high blood pressure, thus improving circulation. Moreover, a lower sodium diet can have far-reaching benefits for overall health. It can decrease your risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease, and may even improve bone health, as high sodium intake has been linked to calcium loss. To reduce your salt intake, Start by reading food labels and choosing low-sodium options. Use herbs and spices to flavor your food instead of salt. Be mindful of hidden sodium in processed and restaurant foods. By making these small changes, you can significantly improve your circulatory health and overall well-being. 11. Regular Soaking in Epsom Salt Baths Our journey now brings us to the relaxing and therapeutic practice of soaking in Epsom salt baths. This practice combines the benefits of warm water relaxation and the uniquely beneficial properties of Epsom salts to enhance blood flow and promote overall wellness. Epsom salts, also known as magnesium sulfate, can play a role in promoting circulation when used in a bath. When you soak in an Epsom salt bath, the warm water helps to dilate your blood vessels, thereby boosting circulation. 
Meanwhile, the Epsom salts disintegrate in water to release magnesium and sulfate ions, which are absorbed through your skin. While research on the absorption of these ions through the skin is still ongoing, anecdotally many people report a range of health benefits. The most commonly reported benefit is a reduction in muscle soreness and stress, likely due to the relaxing effects of the warm water and potentially aided by the magnesium, which plays a role in muscle function. The warm water and salts can help to soothe skin conditions such as psoriasis and eczema. The practice also promotes relaxation, which can aid in stress management and promote better sleep. Aim for an Epsom salt bath two to three times per week. Dissolve around 2 cups of Epsom salts in warm bath water and soak for at least 15 minutes. If you don't have a bathtub or if you prefer a quicker method, consider an Epsom salt foot soak. Use a basin large enough for both feet, fill it with warm water, and add a cup of Epsom salts. 12. Losing excess weight. One essential element for better circulation that can't be overlooked is maintaining a healthy weight. Excess weight particularly when it leads to conditions like obesity, places extra pressure on the heart and blood vessels, impairing their ability to effectively circulate blood throughout the body, including to the legs and feet. When you're carrying around extra weight, your heart has to work harder to pump blood through your body, which can lead to high blood pressure and other circulatory issues. Furthermore, obesity is associated with inflammation, which can harm your blood vessels and contribute to circulatory problems. By losing excess weight, you decrease the strain on your heart, lower your blood pressure, and reduce inflammation. This can lead to improved circulation, not just in your legs and feet but throughout your entire body. Besides better circulation, losing excess weight can have numerous other health benefits. It can reduce your risk of heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Weight loss can also improve your mobility, reduce joint pain, improve sleep, and enhance your overall quality of life. To lose excess weight, focus on a balanced diet and regular physical activity. Paying attention to portion sizes can help ensure you're not consuming more calories than you need. Building healthy habits such as drinking plenty of water, getting adequate sleep, and managing stress can also support weight loss. Remember, when it comes to weight loss, slow and steady wins the race. It's not about quick fixes or drastic diets but rather about making sustainable changes to your lifestyle that you can maintain in the long term. 13. Avoiding prolonged periods of sitting or standing. Spending too much time in either sitting or standing positions without moving can hinder blood flow, particularly to the legs and feet. When you're sitting for extended periods, the lack of movement makes it harder for your blood vessels to push blood upwards against gravity from your legs and feet back to your heart. Similarly, standing for a long time without moving can lead to blood pooling in the veins of your lower legs, which can cause swelling, discomfort, and impaired circulation. By avoiding these prolonged periods of stillness, you can help ensure blood flows more freely throughout your body, including your lower extremities. Regular movement encourages the muscles in your legs and feet to contract and relax, which acts like a pump to keep the blood moving. So how can you ensure you're moving regularly throughout the day? Here are some tips. 1. Take breaks. If you have a desk job or otherwise find yourself sitting for most of the day, aim to get up and move around at least once every hour. This could be a walk around your office, a few stretches, or even just standing while you take a phone call. 2. Use a standing desk. If you work at a desk, consider investing in a standing desk or a desk converter that allows you to alternate between sitting and standing. Also, ensure your workspace is set up ergonomically to reduce strain on your body. 3. Incorporate movement. Make it a habit to incorporate small movements throughout your day. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, walk or bike for short trips, and take regular breaks during long periods of standing. By incorporating these practices into your daily routine, you can improve your circulation and overall health. 14. Using natural supplements for circulation. As we near the end of our journey through the diverse ways to improve circulation in our legs and feet, it's time to explore the role that natural supplements can play in promoting circulatory health. 
certain supplements have properties that can help enhance blood flow by dilating blood vessels, reducing inflammation, or preventing blood clots. Here are a few supplements that may help improve circulation. Omega-3 fatty acids, found in fish oil supplements, these healthy fats have been shown to reduce inflammation, prevent blood clotting, and promote the health of your blood vessels. Garlic, supplements of garlic have been found to relax and dilate blood vessels, improving blood flow throughout the body. Ginkgo biloba, this herb is often used in traditional medicine to treat circulatory disorders. It is thought to work by dilating blood vessels and reducing blood viscosity. Vitamin E, known for its antioxidant properties, vitamin E is also thought to prevent blood clots and improve blood flow. Cayenne pepper, capsaicin, the active compound in cayenne pepper, can help improve blood flow and circulation by dilating the blood vessels. In addition to aiding circulation, these supplements can have other health benefits. Omega-3 fatty acids, for example, can reduce the risk of heart disease and boost brain health. Garlic has antibacterial properties, can boost immune function, and lower the risk of heart disease. Ginkgo biloba has antioxidant properties and improves brain health and memory. If you decide to try natural supplements to support your circulation, it's important to take a few considerations into account. Not all supplements are created equal. Look for products from reputable manufacturers that undergo third-party testing for quality. Unlike medications, natural supplements usually take some time to show effects. Don't expect instant results and be consistent with your usage. 15. Drinking Herbal Teas And finally, we've reached the 15th and last point of our exploration, the potential of herbal teas in improving circulation in our legs and feet. Known for their myriad health benefits, certain herbal teas have properties that can positively affect the circulatory system. Certain herbs are known for their vasodilatory effects, meaning they can help widen blood vessels, thereby improving blood flow. When consumed as a tea, these herbs can provide a natural way to support circulatory health. Let's take a look at some herbal teas that may aid in enhancing circulation. Ginger tea, ginger is a warming herb known for its ability to enhance circulation. Its active compounds, such as gingerol and syndrome, have been found to stimulate blood flow. Hawthorn berry tea, hawthorn berries are often used in traditional medicine to support heart health. The berries contain flavonoids that may help dilate blood vessels and improve blood flow. Ginkgo biloba tea, as previously mentioned, ginkgo biloba can dilate blood vessels and reduce blood viscosity. These effects may be obtained through consuming the herb as a tea as well. Green tea, Rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, green tea can support the health of your blood vessels, thereby enhancing circulation. Beyond aiding circulation, these herbal teas offer additional health benefits. For example, ginger has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, can soothe digestive issues, and help reduce muscle pain and soreness. Hawthorn berry is often used for heart health, including high blood pressure and congestive heart failure. Ginkgo biloba improves brain function and eye health. Green tea has been linked to a lower risk of heart disease, improved brain function, and potential weight loss. Here are some tips on incorporating herbal teas into your daily routine. Consistency, like most natural remedies, regular and consistent consumption of these teas is likely to yield the most benefits. Variety, you don't have to stick with just one type of tea. Feel free to explore and rotate among different varieties. In conclusion, drinking herbal teas can serve as a pleasant, natural, and effective way to support circulation in your legs and feet. A soothing cup of tea can not only help keep your blood flowing smoothly but also contribute to your overall wellness. Cheers to that! And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed together through 15 incredible ways to invigorate your circulatory system, specifically focusing on the blood flow in your legs and feet. From regular physical activity to mindful diet choices, staying hydrated to embracing the world of natural supplements, and from wearing compression stockings to sipping soothing herbal teas, we've explored the power we have in our daily routines to enhance our health and well-being. 
Before we sign off, don't forget to give that like button a click if you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth health and wellness content, and share your thoughts, experiences, and tips in the comments below. Remember, we're all on this journey together. Thank you for joining us on this expedition through the landscape of circulatory health. Stay curious, stay motivated, and above all, stay healthy. Until next time, keep that blood flowing and those legs moving.